Hi everyone. Okay, today I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got um, uh, from the Amazon Returns bin stores on Dollar Day. Today is Tuesday. So I did go to both um, bin stores here in my city and um, I only picked up stuff from uh, bin store number one. I When I went to bin store number two, I don't know, they just, they didn't really didn't have anything good. I mean, I did pick, I did put some stuff in my bag, but then I decided, no, you know, they weren't, it wasn't worth it. So I put them back. Um, so yeah, uh, this haul's not really big. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I got here, <laughs> you're probably wondering why would I pick this up? Makeup practice book for kids. I'm going to give this to um, one of my younger nieces because how old is she now? She is... I think she's turning nine actually in October and she is obsessed with like makeup, jewelry, <laughs> platform heels, you know, like she's girly girly. And I thought this would be perfect for her so she can, you know, play around with it. It's basically the face that, and you can do all these different, you know, um, makeup looks and um, it's just the same face throughout the entire book. So I thought she would enjoy this. Um, it's funny because it has all these interesting, uh, well, you know, like skincare um, secrets and all that stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give her that. And then I picked this up for a different niece. I had no idea who these guys were. I just know that it's some K-pop group. So I took a picture, sent it to the niece that likes K-pop, asked her, you know, do you know who these guys are? And she replied back, yes. And I'm like, okay, so who is the group? And she replied to back BTS. So I asked her, do you want this? And she said, sure. <laughs> so I went ahead and got it for her. It's this pouch. Um, you know, I think I've seen a Taylor Swift pouch that's similar to this. So um, yeah, got that for her. Actually, I saw that last week, but I didn't pick it up. And I was surprised it was still there. So that just shows you that people that shop at these bin stores, they go, they don't know who like, like they don't know K-pop. They don't know K-beauty stuff. They don't know, you know, crafty junk journal mixed media stuff. So that's why I'm able to get a lot of this stuff. Cause I'm looking for the stuff that they don't want, or they don't even know what it is. Um, I also found this uh, watercolor pad. Um, this has got 20 sheets and it's cold pressed. And let's see, does it even say it's 140 pounds? Um, I just picked it up because I can always use this for the ATC cards if I want to do, um, you know, watercolor as a background. So it doesn't hurt. It's only a dollar anyways. Um, it's a lot cheaper than what I picked up at, uh, where was that? Was that Michael's? I think it was Michael's. I found this. Now I couldn't find the strap that went with, uh, that came with it, but that's okay. Cause I do have some other straps that um, can be used for this. So this is like one of those phone pouches and it's a pretty sizable one. Here's my phone. And this is a note, a Samsung note. And um, it's, I think my, my phone is like 6.8. So this will definitely fit. And I like the color and also it's got, you know, slot here for your driver's license, credit cards, and then a zipper slot. Um, I actually might give this to um, another niece because they're going on vacation um, this coming Thursday. They're going to Vegas and the Grand Canyon. And she's the opposite of her sister, the one that likes the K-pop stuff. Um, this niece, the oldest niece, she is well, actually, no, let me get this right. Yeah, she is. She's more of a minimalist. So she doesn't carry big bags or carry a lot of stuff in her bag. In fact, she would just, she would rather just not even carry a bag. She's the type that would like to just stick her phone in her back pocket, which we keep telling her she can't do because one, somebody could just grab it, you know, and two, I mean, it might fall out. So I thought this might be a better alternative for her. Um, I think the phone she has is like an iPhone 11. So it'll, you know, this is definitely going to be big enough and she can keep her, her cash and her card in, in there. So yeah, going to give her that. I also got this. I'm not sure who I'm going to give it to, um, either a niece or a nephew, because I have two nephews and one niece that love Pokemon. <laughs> so it's a Pokemon wallet. Okay. And it's nice because it's got two slots here. You know, they can put their coins there 
an ID if they had one, which I doubt. But it's funny because it says Pika Pika instead of Pokemon. But I think isn't that what um, po- what Pikachu says? So yeah, I'm gonna figure. I gotta figure out who to give that one to. Might end up just giving it to my oldest nephew because he could use this for his trip and um, yeah, carry some cash for when he wants to, you know, purchase some souvenirs and stuff. Um, I picked up another HDMI cable because I have one, but I don't want to use that because that's for my external monitor that, um, that I can carry with my laptop. It's a, well, how big is this? It's probably a 17 inch and it's like the size of an actual, um, laptop. It's just as slim, but, um, I've got the HDMI cable for that. But the other thing is, is that the other HDMI cables that I have, I have no idea where I put them for now. And I I just don't want to be digging around. And the reason why I picked it up, this one up is because for my birthday, my brother was asking me what I wanted. And, you know, I said, well, I need a monitor, an external monitor for my laptop, not like the portable one that I have, but a real one. And so he asked me, okay, what size? So Um, I told him a 27 inch would be fine um, because my desk, the width is not very, my desk is not very wide going this way. So I can't, I don't really want something really big because he was like, why a 27 inch? That's kind of (laughs) small. He was like, I'll get you a 32 inch. And I'm like, no, because a 32 inch would be way too big. And I I can't sit further back because my desk is at our balcony uh, or, or rather my balcony here in the house. And I would not be able to push my chair back far enough to be able to like look at the whole screen. So I opted for a 27 inch, which is fine. So he just told me, just send me a link on Amazon. So I sent him one. I picked actually a gaming monitor because that's going to have better, um, uh, what is this? Not graphics. It's going to, um, it's going to show up better in terms of when I'm editing pictures and video and, you know, like watching YouTube or Netflix or something like that. Um, cause the refresh rate is going to be a lot higher. So yeah. And it actually came, um, from Amazon today. So I needed an HDMI cable and, um, and this one, yeah. Cause I think the ones that I have are really, really long. And I, I know I picked those up because, um, we're going to be switching out the TVs in the living room and our TV room. Cause they're both like, this is how old they are. They're like plasma TVs and we've got brand new, um, Well, they're not brand new. They're used, but we've got new TVs. Like the one that's going in the living room, I think is a 55 inch. And then in the TV room, I think it's like a 43. Um, The reason why it's got to be a 43 in the TV room is because the room is not that um, big. And like my problem with my monitor size, um, it can't be way too big. So anyways, long story short, uh, I picked up another one. And it's not bad for at least a dollar. Um, and then the exciting stuff that I got, I found this, this is, um, purple toothpaste. You know, it's funny because when I saw this, it, I was like, oh yeah, that would make sense. Cause you know, people that have blonde hair or rather, no, I wasn't even thinking of terms of humans. I was thinking of dogs because I've been watching this YouTube channel, girl with the dogs. Um, and Every time she has to groom um, a white dog, um, she will use like purple shampoo, right? And because the purple shampoo will brighten up the coat. Well, when I saw this, uh, you know, and I saw that it was toothpaste, I'm like, that makes sense, you know, because it would whiten your teeth. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd try this out. I did look it up on Amazon and you know, it had decent ratings. So I'm going to give this a try. It's not bad for a dollar. If I like it tonight, I might go back to the store and pick up um, the other one that I saw. So I saw this, I'm going to give this to a niece. This is, um, it's like a lip balm. Actually, it's a lip mask. It's similar. It's kind of similar to the Laneige sleeping, a uh, lip sleeping mask or sleeping lip mask. I have both. I have the sleeping mask. And I have the other one. I think it's a, I can't even think of what it's called, but it's a, I carry it in my purse. I showed that on my, what's in my bag video. And I love, I love, love, love Laneige. 
um, as far as like their lip stuff. So it's hard for me to really switch to anything else. But I thought this was really cute because it looks like this, right? Kind of strawberry, I guess. But at first, I didn't realize, you know, because I thought, oh, okay, when I took it out of the box, um, it's unused, which is good. It smells like strawberry. Okay. And I thought, oh, that sucks that it doesn't have the applicator. Well, when I got home and I opened it again, turns out it does have an applicator. It's right here in the lid. So you lift this up and there it is. It's not cute. So um, that way, you know, it'll stay clean. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give this to um, the K-pop niece because I don't know why, but she's always got dry lips. And I had just given them both um, lip balm. Like I had this EOS lip balm um, set that I had found uh, at one of the bin stores. And this was like last year and I forgot that I had it. So I went ahead and, you know, busted it out and gave it to them. And they just like grabbed all of it. So yeah, we'll give that to her. And then the last thing that I found was this and I was so happy to find it. Because I really went to the bin store to look for um, skincare, Korean skin, um, you know, K-beauty skincare. And thankfully, I recognized the brand by just seeing this picture. So I had joined um, a K-beauty uh, group on Facebook, you know, to get some ideas of what stuff is really good. And one of the brands that a lot of them have been raving about is this Round Lab um, skincare. And I've been like... I don't know, lately I've been obsessed with like Korean suns sunscreen sun sticks. Um, because now that it's summer, especially here in Memphis, it's hot, it's humid, and um I am now in my 50s and I want to protect my skin even more, you know. So always putting on sunscreen in the morning um as part of my routine, and then I put a, a, a sun stick, you know, a sun another sunscreen over that before I leave the house. And, um, so anyways, this one came highly recommended. It is the birch juice moisturizing sunscreen. Now the box was all messed up, but this has never been opened and I checked it too. So this is what it looks like. Okay. It's a pretty good size too, because you, I mean, a little bit of this goes a long way from what I read. It's, a, it's one of the little thicker ones, but fortunately there is no white cast and it is SPF 50 PA plus, 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 plus. Okay. So, um, when I opened it, yeah, look, still sealed. And, um, I'm not sure if that's supposed to like pop it open, but you can just peel it off. So actually now that I do have it open, let's go ahead, pull this off. And I'm going to be doing a video on, um, all of the Korean skincare or yeah, skincare, um, moisturizers, sunscreens, toners that I have picked up in the last year and a half and talk about them. So this one is pretty nice. I actually get focus there. Um, it's okay that it's kind of, uh, I guess it's supposed to give you like that dewy effect or quote unquote glass skin. I, for one, don't really care for that because I'm super oily. I'm combo, um, combination skin oily. So, um, I tend to use like a matte powder on my face after I've applied everything. Um, and I use the, I think it's a Tude house, the sebum, um, powder, which totally mattifies everything. But as you can see, it's already absorbed into my skin and it's no longer, you know, shiny. So this is pretty good. It has just a very, very faint smell, but for the most part, I don't typically smell the moisturizer when I apply it, um, if it does have a smell. So yeah, and I believe this one works well with um, oily skin. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to try this. And I'm so glad I got this for a dollar. I think this is going for like 22 or something like that on Amazon. See, the expiration date is not until 11 of 2025. So I still have more than a year to be able to use this all up. And considering that I use, you know, sunscreen 
a moisturizing sunscreen every day um, between probably the five I think that I already have um, adding this one I mean I'm good for a long time so yeah so those are the things that I got from the bin store and I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I will see you on the next video have a great week and a great day bye